Hey, what's happening, guys? I want to talk a little bit about uh, cleaning and tinning soldering irons again today. I had a real popular video I did a year or two ago about that. And uh, when I did that, I used uh, a sponge because that's the way I was taught to solder way back when in the Navy. And that's all we had. You used a damp sponge. But uh, a bunch of people told me about the brass. Well, I've, I've seen it. Just never really used it. So I'm open-minded and I tried it. And that's what I use now. I mean, I still keep a damp sponge around, but my go-to is the brass wool. And somebody else had mentioned uh, using tip tinner, which again is something that I'd never used. I, I wasn't against it. I was just unfamiliar with it. So I got some and I thought we could check it out. What I've got here is a relatively El Cheapo soldering iron that I have abused as best as I can. It doesn't want to doesn't want to take any solder. So does wiping it on a damp sponge help? Oh, you can't see that. Not particularly. See, you can see the solder still just balls up and falls off. What about the brass wool? Does that help? Yeah, somewhat. That's still not the way it should be. So, I'm going to reabuse this, and then we are going to take a look at the tip tinner and see if it does what it says it will do. All right, so there's my tip, thoroughly abused. And once again, you can see solder will not stick to it. So here's the tip tinner I got. It's um, SRA TT21G tip tinner, which contains, as it says, a mild acid tin and a, as a lead-free solder compound. And the instructions state to simply wipe the tip through it. So that's what we're going to do. It says not to apply any pressure, just to wipe the tip through it a few times, roll it maybe, and then it says wipe it off on a damp sponge. Well, I'm not seeing much there. Try it again. Trying to let that acid get in there and clean the tip as best as it can. Still looking pretty hideous there. Again, nothing. So let's, uh, Use our brass. And then we'll, uh, we'll put it in the tinner again. So far, I'm not seeing a lot of uh, a lot of anything that would make me. particularly fond of the tip tinner for a uh, a highly oxidized tip. Let's see, we're still not still not really getting anywhere. Try it again. I'm giving it, you know, basically every benefit of the doubt here. See if we can get a result. Of 
Well, it definitely looks better. But for the highly oxidized tip, I'm, I'm still not seeing a, a great result here. I'm going to try it off camera. I'm just going to do a few more things. You'll be able to see the end result. And we'll come back. Well, I tried it three or four more times. And it looks a little cleaner. But, uh, still not great. You see, it is starting to take just the slightest bit of solder. But we're not getting a nice shine to it. So I'm thinking this, this soldering tip is probably pooched. Try it one more time here. So perhaps the claim that this stuff will restore a heavily oxidized uh, soldering tip is just not true. I mean, you can see here, I'm giving it every opportunity. do what it can yeah I mean it has made a difference but hasn't made enough of a difference I don't think so Like I said, I think this tip is probably pooched from that damage. So, what about for a tip that's not in bad shape? Now, here's my regular soldering iron, which, you know, I generally clean like this, and tin, like such, and it works out very well. So, let's try this uh, soldering iron in here. Let me uh, wipe it off there a little. So this is the effect of the tip tinner on a decent tip. Mm. Does an okay job, but frankly, I think that the brass wool is simply the better way to go. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't recommend you know throwing ten bucks at this. That's just my opinion but I don't see any benefit to tip tin tinner over some brass wool and plain old flux core solder. If you've had better luck tell me about it. I'd like to hear it. All right, that's all I got for today. If you guys enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.